San Diego is taking on big tobacco, but the fight starts at home. Concerned moms Elizabeth Martin, Dr. Laura Crotty Alexander, join us this morning with advice to keep your kids away from vaping, especially this upcoming holiday season. Good morning to you, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Dr. Crotty Alexander, I'm going to start with you. Let's talk about your concerns about vaping and the concern that children are being lured into a potential life of addiction. Absolutely. So we've seen a big uptick in the number of middle schoolers, high schoolers, and young adults who use e-cigarettes over the last few years. And one of the main concerns is that it's not just something they're going to do for a year or two, that they are becoming addicted to nicotine. And one of the most concerning things that we've seen is that they are having a gateway effect mm -hmm. where kids who start by vaping and they've never smoked a cigarette will actually sort of go into cigarette smoking and uh, use of marijuana as well. Elizabeth, you're a mom. Why is vaping so popular with youth? I, I think it's more of a, um, you know, a peer thing, you know, they're, they're, they're friends are doing it, so they want to do it. But then it's all the 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 flavors, the the uh, grape, the fruit and 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 um, and flavors that the kids really um, are attracted to. So they get them started with that and they do not taste the the, the menthol or the nicotine and then they're hooked. Yeah, you know, you you stated this is the the holiday when kids say trick or treat. Big tobacco is definitely giving them a trick. Yeah, you know, some people say vaping is harmless, but you're mentioning, you know, parents uh, should they be concerned if they smell like a strong candy or fruity smell coming from their child's bedroom or around the house? And how do you address it with them? What do you what do you say to them? It's most definitely if they smell a strong candy or fruit smell, they should address it by talking to their kids and asking them because e-cigarettes or the vaping devices, they're the most popular flavored tobacco products among middle schoolers and high schoolers. They're small and portable. They look like a flash drive mm -hmm. or, or, or a highlighter, and it's so very addictive, so they need to talk to their kids, see what they're doing, and, and try to educate them on what's really happening. Yeah, Dr. Crotty Alexander, uh, speaking of education, yeah, once uh, parents have that conversation, what should they be telling them? Yeah, I think uh, I agree with Elizabeth that you just need to be very honest. Um, we've been researching the health effects of e-cigarettes for several years now, but we still don't know everything about them. Um, you can tell your child that about the addiction part because that isn't appealing to, to kids and young adults, the, the thought that they'd be stuck needing this um, device for a long time. But we also have data showing that um, people are developing wheeze, shortness of breath, so real respiratory symptoms, meaning that their lungs are being damaged by the vaping. So I try and just share everything I know about the adverse effects to date and uh, you know, try and let them make their own decision as best you can as a parent or healthcare provider. Yeah, education is key in having that open conversation. Yes. Elizabeth, what is happening locally to protect youth and adults in San Diego? Well, the um, Amer American Cancer Society and San Diego against um, San Diegans against big tobacco. We're really, really trying hard to address this, get the word out, and then we do have a local bill that we are trying to get um, a state law that we're trying to pass to in ensure that the strong found that there's a strong foundation for limiting the sale of flavored tobacco. And you know, it's not just the fruit and candy, it's also menthol. And menthol has, we have been trying to get menthol cigarettes banned for decades because of its impact on the black community. And if people want more information, they can go to San Diegans versus big tobacco.org. Ladies, we've got to wrap anything else you want to wrap, uh, say before we go. Thanks for I, I, having us. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Elizabeth. I just want to say I'm a grandmother and a great-grandmother, 
And I am very concerned about this and we really need to be concerned and talk to our youth about this. Yes, and that's why we are having that conversation this morning. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.